What's up fragrance fam? Welcome to the Mustached Man YouTube channel. Today uh, we are going to be reviewing Tommy Hilfinger Cologne. Uh, if you like fragrance reviews, if you like general cleanliness um, products and things like that, feel free to subscribe to this channel. Um, that's mostly what we do here. We've been kind of expanding what we do, but that's mostly what we do, especially cologne reviews. So if that's something you're interested, subscribe. Like the video, it really helps me reach more people and grow this channel. So, uh, Tommy Hilfinger Cologne. Um, we're gonna do a quick note breakdown um, before I get started. So, the top notes, uh, according to Fragrantica, mint, bergamot, grapefruit, lavender, gra uh, and then the middle notes are Granny Smith, apple, cranberry, it's kind of interesting, rose, base notes are cotton flower, cactus, again, interesting, and amber. So, um, can I pick all those out yet? I don't know, because I'm still kind of a somewhat beginner cologne enthusiast. Um, but uh, definitely the apple I can is, is pretty heavy in this one. That's one that I was easily able to pick out of this fragrance. And the cranberry actually, which was kind of an interesting fragrance note in my opinion. But um, I've used this cologne for about a month and a half now. Um, oops, the camera keeps getting really bright. I've used this for about a month and a half now. And the story goes that I smelled this cologne for the first time like five years ago on a friend. And I was like, dude, what are you wearing? Like, not to be weird, but I was like, dude, what are you wearing? Because that smells so good. That was the first time I'd ever done that um, to anyone. And he was like, it's just Tommy. It's like, it's no big deal. Um, I was like, I don't know, man. It just smells really, really good. So um, I never forgot the name. And I ended up picking it up like three months ago. Um, and I've been using it off and on ever since. I, for a... For a casual fragrance, I mean, it's winter here, so that's why I haven't used it all that much. But for casual fragrance, they did a pretty good job. And it's been around for quite a while. I think it was the late 90s when it came out. Um, and I was even telling some friends, like everybody I was talking to about this cologne seemed to already know of it. And and uh, specifically a few girls that I knew, they were like, yep, in high school, it was always like, ooh, Tommy, the boys were wearing Tommy. It smells so good, you gotta follow them around. Um, so, so yeah, I mean, it's probably more of a younger, younger man, um, teenager scent, but still really pleasant, really nice, kind of sharp in my opinion, um, in some ways, and it, it's, it's a decently long lasting cologne, but I feel like it could have been dulled down just a little bit in the, the sharp, sharpness. Um, again, I'm, in, I'm just, oops. Got a notification saying my battery's low. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm relatively new, as I said, but I to me that's what sharpness or the the top, like really fruity, but like something that kind of sticks around and isn't the most pleasant thing, um, is what I feel like is sharpness. But I'm still learning what sharpness actually is. But uh, anyways, the point is, um, there's something that's that could be a little more mellow in this fragrance, in my opinion. Um, but it does get attention, um, projects pretty well out of a lot of my fragrances. Um, lasts a while. I spray my cologne on clothes, as I've said in another video, so they last a little longer that way. Um, for a fresh fragrance, it lasts quite a while. Um, I do get a little bit of muskiness in the base. Um, it's not entirely just a like a fresh fragrance. I think it has a little bit of musk in there. Um, but yeah, fantastic cologne. Um, I think it was like 35 bucks for 50 ml. So it's not the, you could probably get better colognes for this, just it, it, for the price. It just, for me, it has a lot of sentimental value for the time in my life when I smelled it. Um, and just what it reminds me of uh, at different points in my life. So probably a little biased here, sentimentally. But uh, still something worth smelling and seeing what it is. It's pretty famous cologne, famous. Um, just was used a lot. Um, so yeah, pick it up if you want. Um, check it out. I like it, I think it's pretty fun. Definitely for younger people, uh, younger men. But uh, yeah, see what you think. All right, catch you guys in the next video. Hopefully that was helpful in some way and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.